In Psalm 118, verse 8, we read these words, It is better to trust in the Lord than put confidence in man. I woke up with this song this morning, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, I long to trust him more. There are many who put their trust in the government's trust in this new vaccine that is going to save lives. But the scripture makes it plain it is better to trust in the Lord than put confidence in man. On the 30th of June 1859, there was a man called Charles Blunton. And he came to America and he stretched 1,100 feet rope across the Niagara Falls. And 25,000 people come to see this man. But he done for several stunts across the Niagara Falls. And they asked, he asked the crowd do you, about, do you think I could wheel this wheelbar across the Niagara Falls? And of course they all shouted, yes, we believe you can do it. And then he says, do you believe that I could wheel some of you across the Niagara Falls? But there were no takers. But a man called Harry Col- Colcard, who was Blondin's agent, and he agreed to uh, get on to Blondin's back, and Blondin carried this man across the falls. Colcard had his trust uh, in this man, Blondin, that he could do it. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 18, the Lord spake a parable of those who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. And the Pharisee prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men or extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even this publican. I fast twice in the week, and I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift his eyes unto heaven, but smote himself upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Jesus said, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every one that exalts himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. So there are those who trust in their own righteousness, and God says it will not do. They compare themselves with others, saying, I'm as good as she is, or I'm as good as he is. This publican, however, only looked at himself, and he realized he was a sinner, and he needed God's forgiveness. Then there are those who trust in their wealth. God wants us to trust in him, not in our own wealth or our own substance. Trust in him for everything. In the scripture we read about uh, those who went out to battle, trusting in their own armies and chariots and horses, but the battle can only be won by trusting in the Lord. Gideon had an army of 22,000, and God whittled it down to 300 men. And God gave them a great victory over the Midianites. The Midianites were like grasshoppers upon the ground. And yet God gave Gideon a great victory. One with God is the majority. When it comes to your soul's salvation, don't trust in your own good works. Trust in the Lord Jesus Trust in what he done for you on that cross. That's what you need to have your faith in. Not in your works, not in your religion, but in what the Lord done for you on the cross. May the Lord bless his word to all our hearts for his name's sake. Amen.